Good morning for those of you who aren't new here. Do you recognize where I am? Yes, I know it is a mess, but welcome back. Today we are doing a day of my life in Palm Beach. Just got here yesterday. I'm at my parents' house. I've been all over the last two months. I actually haven't been here for two months. Hence all of these packages that have been piling up for two months. Yeah, that's gonna be a TikTok series. But today I'm gonna take you along my day. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, but it's weird. Like I'm not seeing my sister, my brother-in-law again this year. Last year during Thanksgiving, they were on their honeymoon after their wedding. And this year they're having Thanksgiving up at their house in North Carolina with my sister's in-laws, my brother-in-law's family. So it's just me and my brother home here for the holidays, but that means it's still gonna be so much fun. Today is an errands day. Back home, I'm getting my hair done. It also looks 10 times as gross because I haven't washed it in like three days and I have not put more dry shampoo in it. And I'm also getting all my nails and my toes done. If, 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 if I would ever show you feet for free, you would be appalled. I haven't gotten my toes done since before I left for my Asia trip. So like eight weeks ago. And and my fingernails, I last got done in Hawaii, but they are chipping, breaking, grown out. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, but you know. It's just due time for all these things, plus my eyebrows, my girl Nicole, who does my nails and my toes, that she has been doing since my sophomore year of high school, so a long, long time ago. Also, we'll do my eyebrows. I'm feeling very chatty today. I'm feeling very pumped up. I just did my 100th walk on Peloton, which may not seem like a huge accomplishment, but it was so fun because I had my mom and aunt on there live too. And I'm just really looking forward to a Celsius. I'm gonna go grab a Celsius, grab my purse, and then we have to get out of the door to go to my hair appointment. The only thing I'm crossing my fingers for is that my car starts. My dad drove my car a little bit while I was gone, but I haven't been here for two months. So we're hoping that Betty the Bronco is okay. Let's go on today. Let's go run some errands. I know when people hate when you call them errands, but just like self-care things that you need to do. We're gonna have one of those today. Do some work and get along with our day. So if you're new here, make sure that you subscribe down below. And if not, if you don't want to, let's just go around on a day in my life in Palm Beach, Florida. Obviously, I am feeling very chatty today. This outfit is actually the free people dupe from Amazon. This dress romper. It's actually not shorts underneath it. I am obsessed. Got my little purse here. Got my phone. Need to find where my car keys are. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, anyway. I'm grab a Celsius. I haven't even had a Celsius, and this is how pumped up I am from my workout. Feeling kiwi guava. Let's do it. Not gonna lie, this is going to be warm because I just put them in the fridge this morning. But you know what? I don't have enough time to like go run out and get another Celsius, and I feel like that's silly. So here's that the car starts. I'm actually really nervous. Honestly, I wasn't worried about my car not starting because I knew my dad drove it a little bit. But then Austin's car didn't start after only being gone a month, and I'm like, oh my gosh, and my dad like last drive my car, it needs a wash. We gotta bring Betty to the car wash today. Oh my gosh, it's my car! It's just like one of these things. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Okay. Yay! Wait, I am so excited to be back. Something like blasting music and going on our way. I'm going to head over to my hair appointment and then I'll show you guys kind of what we're doing. Just kind of brightening up. I am a natural blonde, but as you can tell, it's a little bit darker these days. I'm gonna get a little bit of a trim and a little bit of a brightening with Ashley, who has been doing my hair for 16 years. Okay, we have arrived. Take one last good look at my hair because it is going to get a lot blonder over the next hour. I'll show you guys kind of me baking inside, but here is what the hair looks like, and I can't wait to look so beautiful after. There's another client in the actual hair salon, so I didn't want to disrupt any of them. I quickly came to the bathroom with my phone to show you. Here's how I'm baking. I just do a little bit on the side in my crown and just get it lightened up a little bit. Here's what I'm looking like, <laughs> and I'm excited to see how this turns out. And ta-da! My hair is done. I'm still sitting in the parking lot. We had to cut so much off, so it's definitely a little bit shorter, but I had a ton of dead ends the last time I got my hair done in Tampa. Uh, she didn't really cut, trim my hair properly, so um, it definitely needed it. It's been 10 weeks since I've gotten my hair done. I don't know if that's a long time or a little bit of time to you. I know people who go every four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, so I felt like 10 weeks. I made it but definitely a little bit lighter and brighter up at the top but you know kind of still smudged in because I do like my natural colors and want to keep it that's my natural hair color so it's a little bit darker but I love it I feel like Barbie now that it's so blonde and I'm wearing pink but I'm gonna head home I do need to get a car wash this car there's a car wash on the way home I'm gonna ask my mom if it's good I just need the outside done the inside is actually so clean like it looks like it was just vacuumed out but the outside is an abomination I am like embarrassed to drive around my car with how pretty it is is so I just need like a little you know eight ten dollar car I'm not looking to spend 40 bucks to get my car wash just like a cheap car wash um, I don't even care if it's at a gas station but either now or before slash after my nail appointment depending on if there's a better one closer to my nail salon but I'm gonna get home because it is 12 42 my nail appointment is at 2 I really need to eat food and I'm trying to save money so I'm going to go eat some food that we have at the house and get my car washed 
somewhere in the time of between before after nails I think I want to do after nails because I want more time at home yeah uh, you know what that's it I am gonna go get it done after my nails my nails are at two it's almost one ten minutes from the house so I'm just gonna go home eat do a couple things go get my nails done and then we'll get the car washed so like I said errands day I know everybody hates it when vloggers say like today's an errands day well I know that you're sitting in the office currently while I'm saying this everybody has different stuff that they do this is definitely an unconventional job this is just what's going on today but honestly I do need to get home to do a little bit of work and some stuff for a video that's going up today so you know there's a little bit of like balance there everybody's day looks different this is just mine but let's head home I'm so happy that my hair is a little bit blonder just made a quick avocado Caesar salad put in a little bit of feta and some chicken breast and now time to make my bed and start to clean up just a little bit it is a disaster in here I didn't have a long pit stop at my house at all just ate that lunch ended up finishing editing a video and starting to do the thumbnail for the upload that's gonna go up today I just had never filmed an outro so I finished editing the whole thing and I was like I'm just gonna leave them hanging so, so instead of leaving you hanging I just kind of filmed a little outro it's getting ready to go up today at 5 p.m. and now I'm going to head into my nail appointment my crusty dusty nails are finally getting redone like I was looking at some of these while I was driving and you see where they're like crack gross like these are my real fingernails but look at how that looks not good not good my girl Nicole is here to save the day so here's they look like before no feet for free but they are just Disgusting. And uh, I'll show you guys what they look like after the nail salon. So let's go. All right, and here is the final product of my nails. These are my natural nails, but I do get dip powder on them, and then I do gel on my toes. If you have never tried gel on your toes, it's a little bit more expensive, but y'all, those toes were from before I left for Asia. I left for Asia in the middle of September, so it is now almost the end of November. They last me four, six, eight weeks, and they honestly stay on great, and as long as they grow out with your toes, like if your toes grow super fast, maybe that won't work, but for me, it works so well so I just got the same exact color on my toes and now I'm gonna head to the car wash and then after the car wash we're gonna head home and now we're at the car wash getting the car wash oh my gosh this is much needed I'm literally just at a gas station because I needed to get the outside done this car is about to be so clean. And of course, listening to the Holly Sirius XM Christmas music while I do so. That's the only way to do it. <sighs> We're back at the house. Betty is all nice and washed. I mean, I don't think it was the best wash in the entire world. It was like $13, but you know what? Oh my gosh, it looks so much better than it did. I literally was embarrassed to show you guys. I refuse to show you. Dexter! I gotta finish up a few things for the video that's going up in 10 minutes. I didn't hit publish, so I couldn't add the thumbnail or anything, so I'm gonna do that super fast so that goes up for you guys. And then we're gonna tackle this room. Well, I have opened all of the packages. A lot of it was actually PR, which just melts my heart every single time. We also just had dinner. The men of the house, aka my dad and brother. Ho, 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 and roll time! Man, it gets me every time. They are starting to put up the Christmas tree. My mom and I are in here doing the dishes and cleaning up the kitchen because we are not tall enough to put together that Christmas tree together. So we said, we'll clean. You put up the tree so that we can all decorate. Thanksgiving tomorrow, but we are decorating today. We actually usually decorate even earlier than this. But this year, we're slightly behind. Prepping for the most wonderful time of the year. No, I just noticed that we have two Christmas radios. I got blamed for throwing one away. Gracie went out and bought another one. It doesn't speak the same language, and I got blamed. <laughs> must have brought down a bin we did not have out no. last year. No. The backstory behind this, this is our childhood in this little radio. And last year, it was nowhere to be seen at all. Maybe it was the second year in a row we couldn't find it. I and so I'm not really apologize. <laughs> and so I found this one on eBay and ordered it off eBay and gave it to my mom last year for Christmas. And I said, so we can have a Christmas radio. And all of a sudden, this one shows back up. Guess what, guys? You can take one back to Tampa with you. Yes! A new one. Perfect! The one that speaks Spanish. That does not speak Spanish. I'll be giving my family an entire performance to the music that's playing in the most obnoxious opera. They absolutely love it. <laughs> Basically what we're doing for Christmas decorations, and this is what we do usually every year, is just pull everything out, make a whole mess, and then start to find things that we know where they go or give them new places. And we're just kind of pulling out everything and putting away everything. It just makes more sense than like unboxing one thing at a time. And run. Oh, my dad's singing too. And 
I feel like I should be wearing more Christmassy attire, but it's pink mist for me. Flying object spotted over the rooftop. They owe me an apology. A big apology. That's all I'm saying. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Don't let your mother see that. That could be a big problem. Oh, no. I nominate you. I nominate you. Oh, no. This is good news. I have a son. This is the best day. So here's our Christmas tree. What we do in our family is we have a lot of these picks and things. These are our poinsettias. And this is the bin of the little picks and different things. My mom has had these for so many years. I asked her, like, where do you get stuff like this? I guess they won it off an auction tree like oh, decades ago. Decades. Come on. Like, I, well, maybe decades. <laughs> shoot. Holy shoot. Sorry. A very long time ago, but. We put all of these in the tree first, all around, like in various spots, kind of like how you see the poinsettias. And then we go in with all the ornaments, which are in these two bins, which are all bubble wrapped up. You guys, I have to show you super quick my new ornaments that I got from Shop Blue & Co, which is just a small boutique that I love in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I love to shop small and I absolutely love their owner, Sydney. And so I ordered a couple of their ornaments because they posted about them. I looked on the website and just about died. Look at these ornaments. I don't know if they'll have them by the time this video goes up because I did order them a couple of weeks ago. First of all, a passport. I mean, that is very self-explanatory, but I thought this just looked so much cuter than any of the other ones that I've seen. I just love it. I also got this one. It says press for champagne. How cute is that gonna be on my little tree? My tree is in my storage unit, but my storage unit is coming down soon. So I will have a Christmas tree this year. And then white claws, fairy berry. I mean, come on, I saw this and just about die. I think that all of these are so stinking adorable and so special and precious. So just wanted to show you guys those. It's not sponsored. I just love Sydney and love their whole company. And look what came to my room. This is my nutcracker. It's been in my room for the last at least decade. I love this little guy. He's a little nutcracker and he's gonna go somewhere. Obviously my room's a mess right now because I'm getting ready to move out, which will be a whole other announcement and a whole other thing that's going on. And so obviously there's just kind of stuff everywhere like you saw a little bit earlier. And but soon that little guy is gonna have his own special spot in here. I'm gonna get back to helping with decorating. We haven't even started the tree yet. It's kind of been a slow moving process because there's hockey games on and other things that are going on. And I said, okay, let me go get the camera. I'm gonna bring it out and hopefully that'll inspire us to start decorating the tree. So we said we we're gonna decorate the Christmas tree tonight. Elfie Gray, who's the name of our elf on our shelf from when Finn was a kid, I think by then we all knew, but Finn didn't. So named him Elfie Gray. Hannah and I wanted to name him Elfie. Finn wanted to name him Greg. So there was the compromise. He is the only thing along with the poinsettias on the tree because my mom and I got distracted and completely reorganized the party shelves, AKA all the wine and stuff. And we made it very beautiful and very organized. And I get to keep a couple of things from it, which is fun and bring it over for my bar cart. So I am just stacking up all the stuff that's coming over and I'm gonna start to clean out my room over the next couple of days while I'm here because let me just give you another glance. It looks a little better once I've opened packages. Still not quite though, you guys. <laughs> There's gonna be a whole video about this. It is not on this vlog, but I am going to be moving out a year and a half later. There's a lot of explanation to come, but that's just kind of where we're at at the moment is that that's what's gonna be going on while I'm home for Thanksgiving break. It's like a little dual purpose of being here. So yeah, lots of stuff going on. And Around this house, but I'm just gonna help my mom clean up for the night because it's getting late. I don't even know what time it is. Holy smokes, it's 10:25 right now, and no wonder my back hurts. I've been standing so much and leaning over. I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna help her clean up some stuff, and then we're gonna get some stuff done tomorrow before we have Thanksgiving festivities and all of that because then it's really, really, really officially Christmas season after tomorrow. And so that's time of the year. I'm gonna go help her clean up and then probably end the vlog because I don't know what else I'm gonna be doing tonight other than trying to organize my room just a little bit and maybe starting to go through some things and pack. I'm not sure. I'm honestly a little stressed out from it all because it just seems like such a daunting task, but I'm very excited for what's to come. My mascara is off. My contacts are out. I'm in my PJs. These are pretty old, but they're from Z Supply. I absolutely love their PJs. Hindsight, I should not have taken out my contacts because I can't really see myself on the screen. 
screen. Not that that matters because I'm talking to the lens and I'm like, whoa, is that girl over there? Don't get too close. Anyway, today was such a wonderful day. I hope that you guys enjoyed again. Not a super traditional pre-Thanksgiving day by any means, but just some things that needed to be done in the short period of time that I was here. And of course, some family time, which I absolutely love. Like it just, nothing quite beats being able to just hang out with your family. I know it's just the four of us and missing my other sisters, but for the most part, it has been us four here for the last year and a half that I've been here because Hannah and Sarah both have moved out for a long time and the original plan was never to be living in Palm Beach and living in my parents house for a year and a half. I actually, for those of you who know, I was just home for the summer after I graduated college in 2022 and I was not planning on staying in Palm Beach. I had a couple of circumstances that not forced me to stay in Palm Beach but really grounded me here and I was miserable and now I truly can say I'm probably the happiest I've been since post-grad. I'm not fully there yet. If you're post-grad, you know it's just weird and even a year and a half later and even with an unconventional job it still is weird to be in a post-grad season i think i'm gonna make a whole video on this because nobody really talked about how weird and different it is that's a whole other video for another day now a year and a half later i am the happiest i've been out of college i'm moving so many exciting things are going on so i'm trying to take in this week to being with my family like this one last time because the goal is to never move back in again which is really bittersweet and really sad but also a wonderful thing at the same time so glad we had some family time tonight and i know that we're going to continue to have it over this holiday season of course i'll be back home for christmas and different things like that over the years and years but right now it's just soaking in my last little bit living in palm beach for now at least who knows what the future holds but long rant over this was my day in life i hope you guys enjoyed if you're new make sure that you subscribe down below so you don't miss another video lots of exciting things to come i've been saying that but now truly they're gonna ramp up and start to come once i can finally announce some things and say some things so get excited i'm sure you can probably inference it but it's always exciting to announce things i love you guys so much i hope you're having a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one bye oh i was silly for my overhead lights on but you get it good night <laughs>